I want to show you how you can put in some special date criteria into your report. I'm going to go back into the selection expert. There's another video that talks about the selection expert. But uh, I want to go back in there and notice how we have the date field. And right now I have between uh, August 1st and August uh, 30, 31st. That would be for a specific date range. But in this case, I'm going to click on the pull down where it says between. When the field is specifically a date field or a date time data type, then you also get one that, that's called in the period. Let me show you that. Now notice when we use in the period, it has these specific date ranges, like a year to date, last seven days, month to date, last full month. Let me show you the relevance of that. Let's say we use last full month. Well, if you ran it uh, today, uh, if you notice on my computer, it's uh, December 12th, then the last full month would be November 1st through November 30th. You know, it's going by the calendar. But if I run the same exact report in January without changing a, a thing, then the last full month would be December 1st through December 31st. And, uh, you know, you have all these built-in date ranges. So let me show you how we got to that again. It has to be a date time field, like, like we have here, uh, we have the date field. And then um, uh, when you pick on this pull, then you have in the period, and then, then you have all of these special date ranges that are built right in, and it makes your crystal report uh, very portable and very flexible. Actually, uh, I'm gonna put it back to being uh, the date range of August 1st, 1998 to August 31st of 1998, but I wanted to show you how to put in the special date criteria.